Live from the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado, Prime Ticket presents NBA Basketball. Tonight, the Los Angeles Clippers take on the Denver Nuggets. Hi everybody, I'm Ralph Lawler. Welcome to Clippers Basketball. We're outside the Pepsi Center getting ready to go in for the ball game. The Clippers and the Nuggets tonight. Bring in my broadcast partner, the former Clipper Mike Smith. Mike, one thing is very clear from these last couple of ball games. We've had a steady dose of the Clippers' new E-squared backcourt, Eric Gordon, Eric Bledsoe, and they're fun to watch. You talk about making the most of an opportunity for yeah. young Eric Bledsoe. We kind of knew that Eric Gordon would be good. Eric Bledsoe filling in for Baron Davis did not disappoint in his two ball games and certainly in the last start. He played well, Gordon played well, and the team played magnificently well against the Thunder en route to victory. You gotta love what Eric Gordon has done all season long. He's been scoring, leading his team in assists, 19 or more in four of the last five. He's been driving and shooting, and then Eric Bledsoe, just wind him up and let him go. He's an amazing athlete, and in this free-flowing offense of Vinny Del Negro, he works right now. He's pushing the tempo, and the tempo works. And as we look at the season numbers for these two, Bledsoe doing it, scoring, shooting, assists, and of course, Eric Gordon, maybe one of the five best scorers from his position, at least consistently, right now in the league. I don't, don't know how much longer I can say this, but for now anyway, all stories begin and end with Carmelo Anthony when you talk about the Denver Nuggets. Well, and they came out the first night and blew everybody away and blew out the Jazz by 30 points, yeah. and everybody thought, well, maybe he's here to stay. We still don't know. Ralph and I thought he would be gone after we saw him in the preseason. But let's break down his game because he's still here, and he's still one of the 10 best players in the entire league. He's big. He's powerful. He's different than Kevin Durant because you can put him on the block, and he will blow away who's down there in the post, so you got to get to him early. He's also a gutsy shooter and score. At the end of games and end of quarters, look out because he'll touch it. He has 14 game winners. And from his position and the mid-range spot, he is a devastating shooter, one of the toughest matchups in the entire league. A couple of former Team USA teammates will go head-to-head -to -head tonight. We'll check that matchup. When we return to Denver, we'll see you inside right around the corner. <laughs> 